The Assembly will now hear an address by His Excellency Hubert Alexander Ingraham, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance of the Commonwealth of the Baham Bahamas. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, my government is pleased to participate in this historic high-level meeting as this August body recognizes for the first time the growing burden of NCDs and its socio-economic impact. NCDs constitute an epidemic in my country, the Bahamas. The epidemic is putting increasing strain on our health care system. In the Bahamas, one half of all public hospital beds are occupied by people suffering from NCDs with an average length of stay of seven days. Eighty percent of the drug costs for our national prescription drug plan are spent on treating hypertension and diabetes. Half of deaths of individuals 45 years and older, and 60% of all deaths are caused by this epidemic of NCDs. Health and related socioeconomic costs associated are enormous. <clears throat> the dual burden of NCDs and communicable diseases has led my government to strengthen primary health care services by integrating family medicine specialists at the primary health care clinics increase access to medications to control NCDs with the implementation of a national prescription drug plan, promote healthy living and demonstrate that increased physical activity and a balanced diet can lead to reduced dependence on prescription medication, facilitate patient self-management programs, partner with non-governmental organizations and faith-based organizations to conduct worksite and community-based wellness programs, develop national food nutrition guidelines and policy, improve the coordination of services through the appointment of an NCD focal point and a stakeholder committee. While we recognize the important leadership role of the United Nations and the World Health Organization in supporting efforts to decrease the prevalence of NCDs, we strongly recommend the following. Increase international and regional budgetary allocations. Increase access to training and policy formulation, monitoring and evaluation, and coordination across health systems. Policy changes for intersectoral involvement in the NCD prevention initiative, and sharing of best practices in trade and industry. Mr. President, to stem and redirect the course of the epidemic, we must promote and encourage changes to our lifestyles and make a healthy behavior and appropriate choices for our children. My government applauds initiatives undertaken to curb the increasing rate of childhood obesity. We must continue to fight the global health challenges facing us. Mr. President, we owe it to future generations. I thank you.